Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. Today you will learn how to automatically mix your voiceover with music. All of our games are registered with Gaming Commission. Come on in and enjoy the best gaming this side of Vega 4. Where winners are made at the speed of light. So let's open up Premiere and hit a new project. And I'm going to name it Mix VoiceOver. So here is what my window looks like. If you have any different window, or maybe a different workspace style, you can always hit on editing to get the workspace style like myself. Open up my folder, drag and drop the files. Let's have a look at the video. This is what my video looks like. It's a video for golf course. Some flyover shots. Then this is what my voiceover sounds like. All of our games are registered with Gaming Commission. And then this is what the music sounds like. That's out of way. Let's drag and drop the video to the timeline. And then the voiceover. And then the music. You can do that in any order. To differentiate better, I'll change the color label to yellow. So you can switch to audio workspace. I'll prefer to go to window and open up essential sounds from there. Hitting this will open up chill sound panel on your right side. So just select your voiceover layer and hit dialog. Then select your music layer and hit music. What you've done is tell the Premiere that these two layers, that the first one is the dialog or voiceover layer and the second one is your music layer. I'll double click the music layer to zoom it a little bit better. Now. On this panel we have ducking, so sensitivity is the threshold of how quickly the ducking will start and stop on your voiceover. Now ducking amount is how much ducking should be applied to your music. And fades is how quickly does the music fade in and out soon as your voiceover hits in. What you need to do is to go to window and audio track mixer. This is where you get to see all the volumes for different audio layers. So the A1 layer is where your voiceover is. You can slide down these volume sliders to reduce the amount of every single layer independently. So you can reduce the voiceover or you can reduce the music. Where winners are made at the so I'm going to rename lights. the layers here. The first layer I'm going to type voiceover. Second one is going to be music. Now we need to identify how much music do we need to duck against the voiceover. So I'll just play the clip and try to reduce the volume down to see where the voiceover is perfectly hearable. So I think somewhere around 19 and 20 seems good. Reset the slider back to zero or double click the slider to move it back to zero. Now we'll move back to essential sound panel and here set the sensitivity could be lower or higher depending upon your preference. I'll keep it to somewhere around seven. Duck amount is something which I would want around minus 20 which we just saw there. Now the fade, I want it to be quickly fading out because it's a small trailer and there's not enough time for me to duck it very slow. So make it 200 ms. Now all of these settings will vary according to your need and voice over, but generally the settings I have right here seem to work fine for most documentaries, ads, and explainer videos. Hit generate keyframes. Now you can see all these keyframes are automatically made for you by Premiere and the music is ducking down when the voiceover comes in. All of our games are registered with Gaming Commission. Come on in. Couldn't get any more simpler than that. Now, as I can hear that the voiceover volume is a little low, so I'll amplify it by adding a small effect. So you can move your cursor right here on your audio track mixer, and there's that small arrow there. You just click that arrow, and this will open up the effects pane. Hit the drop down arrow, go to amplitude and compression, and select amplify. I'm going to double click amplify. And this is where you can increase the volume of your voiceover layer. So I'm going to increase it something like 7 to 8 decibels. Let me hear that. All of our games are registered with gaming. Com Maybe a couple more. So All of our games are registered with gaming commission. Come on in and enjoy the best gaming this side of Vega 4. For any point you feel like the music that is ducking, it's a little too low. So what you need to do is to go back to effect controls, select the amplify effect and delete that. So once you delete it, all the keyframes will be deleted. Check the ducking box, set the duck amount to minus 15 and hit generate keyframes. And there you go, Premiere has made you new keyframes there. Let's play the clip and listen to it. All of our games are registered with Gaming Commission. Come on in and enjoy the best gaming this side of Vega 4, where winners are made at the speed of light. 
All of our games are registered with Gaming Commission. Come on in and enjoy the best gaming this side of Vega 4. Where winners are made at the speed of light. That's as easy as it can get to mix your voiceover with music in Premiere. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Post any comments or suggestions you have and I will see you soon with another video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.